Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So we haven't done fragrance video for quite a while and I have just been sent by Commodity the Exploration Kit and I am so excited and I just love the concept of this company. This is a company born in the USA but you can buy it here in the UK as well. And what's different about them is that they have six main fragrances but in three different projection and intensity and they call it scent space concept. So you get personal, this one will be for those who prefer subtle intimate fragrance to be noticed only by you and the few allow close to you. Then you have the expressive which will be a bit more intense and project more. This is considered a perfect balance of longevity and projection. These fragrances will make a statement without overpowering any space to be noticed by you and many around you. And then there is bold. There is no modesty when it comes to the bold collection. Infused with exotic notes, these are amplified renditions of their expressive counterpart. Designed for those intent on making their presence known, they are for you and everyone else. Here are the six fragrances. So these are the personal scents. So for example here we've got moss. So you will get moss personal, expressive and bold. These ones come in white bottles, well, like a see-through bottle and they have usually minus on it. Then they, the expressive comes in a black bottle with a white writing and the bold black bottle with a gold writing and has plus on it. So it will be moss minus, moss and moss plus. And the same with all the other fragrances. You also get the papers here that you can spray it on and you get this amazing booklet that tells you all about each fragrance. Oh here are the pictures. So that is your personal bottle, that is the expressive and bold. So I was so excited about them. I haven't given them long time of testing because obviously Normally how I test perfume samples, I wear each one for a couple of days. Well here you have three in each scent and there is six of them. So that's 18 scents. But I was so excited, I've been spraying two every day and in different concentration and I think I know which ones are my favorite. So we will do like a overview. I get these testers out so I can spray it on there and I will tell you which ones are my favorite to be honest I like them all so we will start with the book <laughs> and I'm already telling you this is one of my favorites so let's do the book so how how did they start they start with the expressive the middle one because that would be like your typical perfume concentration longevity and projection and then from there they created the personal one which will be gentler and not so loud and then the bold one that you know the perfume enters the room before you do so let's start with the book expressive the middle one so the notes are very similar in each fragrance. They might have added some to the bold and, and to the personal to make one stronger, one maybe more mellow. And also they've changed the concentrations. I will show you roughly what it looks like. Uh, you can see that on their website, they've changed the concentration of each note in expressive, in personal and in the bold one. So it's very, very clever concept. I love it. I suppose even if you just liked white one scent and you wanted 
to wear it all the time. You could buy the personal one for work, so it's not overpowering, and then have the expressive or the bold for night out when you want it to be a bit more projecting. So in the, in the book, in the expressive, we've got bergamot, eucalyptus and violet, cedarwood, sandalwood, amaris, musk, amber and vetiver. So this is crisp, woody. It's probably that eucalyptus that gives it this crisp and fresh smell and the bergamot, but it's not too citrusy. I would think that with bergamot, it would be very citrusy, but it isn't. I can almost smell cucumber in here. I don't think there is a cucumber in here. No, there isn't, but I can almost, and that's probably the eucalyptus. So it is cozy because you can then eventually, it turns a bit musky, so it's quite cozy but fresh and it's not not too sweet so i i think in the book i like the personal so this was the expressive let's spray the personal i might spray the personal on my hand on my arm because i think i don't like smelling any perfume on these Anyway, I love to smell it straight from my skin, but obviously I don't have that much space on my skin to spray them all. But I will spray these because they are obviously not as strong. You see, book personal mm, is my favorite. And that is because they've added a black tea to the expressive. They've added the black tea and skin mask. So I can definitely, it, it smells more mellow. I feel like it's not as, as fresh. So this one has bergamot, cedarwood as well. Then the skin mask, sandalwood, and they've added black tea. The sandalwood makes it a bit more creamy and the black tea makes it a bit more airy and gentle. This is definitely, I love, I love the book Personal. The expressive is nice as well, but I prefer this one. Okay, so now with the bold, they've added smoke and velvety mask. These papers are very good quality as well. This smells very similar to the expressive yeah this one is very similar to the expressive but stronger and maybe slightly more smoky especially when it starts drying down i like it i probably like it more than the expressive so i like the bold i don't know why i prefer the bold again is less fresh, less eucalyptusy, I would say, and more smoky. Yeah, I like the bold, but I love the personal. But I, oh, do you know what this reminds me of? And I don't know why, because probably it's nothing like what he reminds me of but for some reason this reminds me of Santal Blush from Tom Ford definitely he has the it's not a dupe but he has that sa the same vibe so if you like Santal Blush from Tom Ford you will like the personal the other two don't smell like it but the personal does Oh, it's that cozy, you know, it's one of those scents for me, like the Narciso Rodriguez Pure Mask, like Santo Blush, that sort of cozy but fresh 
oh love this one okay the next one we will do is gold so again we will start with expressive and gold expressive has juniper berries creamy mask vanilla amber sandal sandalwood and benzoin right they're supposed to be unisex but some of them i would say are more feminine than masculine mm, i like it it is a vanilla fragrance but not like a sweet cloying vanilla vanilla wrapped in creamy mask and molten amber it's difficult for me to describe it but it is definitely vanilla fragrance i'm not that familiar with juniper berries so i don't know if i'm smelling those and then with the personal one they've added that molecule iso is super and iso is super it's a um, like a it's a synth synthetic ingredient it's woodsy cozy amberry musky so i'm going to spray the personal on my hand somewhere here so this one has iso e super vanilla and amber and sandalwood so they say that this is a whisper of the expressive the original one yeah this one is not very strong yeah i can't really smell much the personal one let's try now the bolt so the bolt has addition of saffron oak moss patchouli and nutmeg so that should smell a bit different Oh yes, this smells different to the other two. It's a bit Middle Eastern. That's probably because of the saffron. And this, I would say, smells the most masculine to me. I can still see a woman wearing it. Do you know that I might prefer the bold one out of the three? I think when it comes to gold, it would be the expressive or bold, but this is not my favorite. This is, the, the bold is definitely quite strong with that saffron and nutmeg. I quite like it. I don't know, I can't make my mind up about this one. Let's see, the next one is a velvet. Well, this one, looks interesting so in the expressive one we have white birch coconut water vanilla amber roasted almonds and rose petals hmm i've smelled them before but i can't remember now <laughs> oh what does this i can straight away smell rose petals the first thing and then it's and then I can smell the roasted almond. I don't know about coconut water. It's not like your typical coconut fragrance, definitely not. It's becoming sweeter. So what do they say about this one? It's, it is sweet, mysteriously smoky and elegant, exotic fragrance. This woody, ambery blend is infused with roasted almonds, rose petals and black amber. I like it. I can definitely sweet, uh, smell now the almonds. It's nutty. It's a bit nutty. What this reminds me of? This almond. It's like a smoky vanilla with a hint of roses. I could smell, you can definitely smell the rose petals, but like from, from the back. I smell more of a vanilla and that roasted almond. I like it. Okay, so let's look at the personal one. 
what have they done with the personal one so they've added skin mask vanilla flower clove bud it still has the roasted almonds it doesn't have the coconut in this one right let's spray it i spray it here on my wrist it's definitely definitely more airy and not as strong i don't smell the roasted almond so much in this one it's more it's turning more musky oh it's drying down really nicely it's nice but i think i prefer the expressive yeah the mask here makes it more mellow whereas this one has a bit of a punch okay let's do the bold I'm scared of the bold what have they done with the bold they've added patchouli and smoke to oh and saffron to the bold one if that has saffron in it as well it might be a bit more middle eastern again oh smoke i can really really do you know what this reminds me of a bit not a dupe doesn't smell exactly like it but like a replica by the fireside isn't it it must be that smoke but i can still smell a bit of that rose and patchouli but i know some people don't like patchouli but this patchouli is quite nice oh it doesn't um uh, smell too middle middle eastern oh i like it i don't know if i prefer this or the expressive okay so in velvet i think my favorite is the expressive the bold is too bold for me but they are all nice honestly so far i like every fragrance is just choosing between all these um, intensities okay next we have moss oh that will be that is fresh and green so let's start with the expressive and they say green and woody with a touch of morning dew this blend of oak moss cedarwood and petty grain are reminiscent of a walk through the woods at dawn wet cool clean and reviving mm. yeah i've smelt it but let's do it again mm, that is so fresh wet that is such a good description it's walking in a woods in the morning after it's been raining and it's a bit humid I like it do you know what this reminds me of this is a bit like Dolce & Gabbana light blue but it's a bit smoother it's not as sharp oh this is really really pretty like an everyday run errands pick me up fresh I like it so what do we have in here uh, in the expressive we have um, grapefruit bergamot petit grain orange blossom cedar wood and oak moss oh i like it okay what do they do with the moss personal they've added that iso is super that woodsy cozy ambery musky synthetic note can't get it out and skin mask hmm let's spray it on this hand it smells very similar just a bit more musky but not not like pure pure mask it's more airy i think i might prefer so far the expressive 
this one is very very airy I prefer expressive right now let's see the bolt what have they done with the bolt okay so they've added juniper berries violet LME LME is fresh spicy piney balsamic note amber patchouli and oak moss right Mm. it must be this juniper berries like I said I'm not very familiar with juniper berries but but this one the bold is probably more masculine yeah definitely leans masculine so I would have loved this on a man w woman can wear it as well but but yeah definitely the most masculine out of these three so I think I would go in moss for the expressive, the middle one. Okay, what's next? Now we have paper. Hmm, does it smell of paper? So the paper expressive is creamy sandalwood as a skin scent and the dry down reveals a crisp cedarwood reminiscent of fresh linen. A unique scent experience for each wearer right let's have a look and in paper very very simple this one is very simple it looks like it just has three notes in here you've got in each of them iso is super then the expressive cedarwood and sandalwood okay let's spray that i wonder if i should smell the paper on paper <laughs> is it gonna smell of nothing Yeah, this is very, very your skin but better scent. Not very strong. Yeah, it's just like an everyday or go to bed scent. Even the expressive is not that strong. Very pretty, very pleasant. I don't think there would be a person that wouldn't like it. But not very strong. Let's see the personal they've added skin mask to the personal oh oh that's nice you know maybe with this scent because it is so skin like you should try it better on your hand than on a paper oh this is quite nice oh i don't even know how to describe it it is woody, amberry and musky. I like it but it's so so gentle, very very nice, your skin but better smell. Let's see there, so what, well the bolt has exactly, well they've added vetiver to the bolt. Yeah it's the same, it's just stronger. I really think you need to smell it on your skin. So I think in paper you're probably better off to go for the bold. Yes, because the personal is very, very close to skin. It's very nice. Yeah, when it comes to paper I go for the bold. And then the last one is milk. And this is the second most favorite. Book is my favorite. Book personal. <laughs> and milk is my second favorite. But I can't decide if I again like the personal or the expressive. So the reason I like milk is because it's lactonic. So it has the expressive cold milk accord, skin mask, warm marshmallow, mahogany wood and tonka bean. So let's go for the expressive first. Oh, this is gorgeous. Sweet, lactonic, that marshmallows and milk. 
sweet. The tonka bean. Oh, I love it. Very cozy. And it, but it's not sickly. Don't think of it like a really sickly marshmallow and sickly milk. Oh, I like it. I think I might like it more than book. But I like book. Book is a bit less sweet. It, it evokes the same feeling in me. But book is not as sweet as the milk. But it's not sickly. Okay, what have they done with the personal? So this one doesn't have, according to this, the cold milk accord. It has skin mask, cashmere woods, amber, marshmallow, mahogany wood and white cedar. So no tonka bean, no milk accord. This is a bit more musky. My nose has gone blind now. Yeah, lovely, but just a bit more close to your skin. And the bolt, what have they got? Oh, they've added firewood accord. Still has the cashmere wood, skin mask, tonka bean, marshmallow, amber, and firewood. Right, let's smell that. They all smell very similar. But I think I like the expressive the most. But I like the bold too. I love it so much that I don't want the personal because I want I want it to really smell it and everybody else smell it. Oh, I will have to with this test it for I already know I love milk. But I have to decide between the bold and expressive. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, so I would say my most favorite is milk and book. I really like the moss for the fresh moss. That's the freshest greenness out of them all. Velvet, I didn't like velvet that much, did I? I did. I would say velvet and gold, still really pretty, but not my favorite. Paper, very, very pretty, not strong enough. I think actually paper would be a very good layering fragrance, you know? I like the gold as well. I like them all, all to be honest. I like them all. But what I want first is milk and book. This will be the first two that I'm going to buy. Milk is probably uh, more winter scent because it's that very cozy wrapped up oh it's so gorgeous so basically i like them all but my first two to buy would be milk and book but honestly i think i i can't see anybody hating any of those fragrances i just love them all and it's such a good value to buy this um, discovery kit because it is quite hard to decide which strength you want because the notes vary slightly and that one added note might make you go no or yes. So it's definitely worth it. You can also buy I think like mini discovery kits from their website because you can get commodity now on Sephora, I think. But if you go to their website, I think they do mini kits that you just get one fragrance in those three intensities. So if you don't go, want to go straight for it, definitely get those discovery kits. This kit, 18 samples, is £35. And you get the papers and the booklet. So I think this is such a good value as well. If you want to explore this fragrance house, I would really recommend that first. Um, they also sent me the archive collection. I think that was the first collection that they came out with. But I haven't looked into it yet. I've just been all over 
the main collection. So another time I will review this one as well. But yeah, definitely I haven't been that excited about fragrance house as this one because I love the concept first of all and all the fragrances are beautiful so very very hard to choose right my lovely so these were the commodity fragrances I hope you enjoyed it let me know if you've got any of them and which one is your favorite but that's all from me thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye